What's up guys, Docker T here, and today I am back with another video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and check out my Discord and Roblox group. So today I thought of a, a funny little uh, ranking video that I think a lot of you guys will be interested in. So, what I have for you guys today is the top 5 most annoying types of players in Tower Defense Simulator. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, Doc, what do you guys think? What do you, what do you, what do you guys mean by this? So, what I mean by this is... People, like there's different types of stereotypes like there's the level diggers there's the people that what's it called don't play with you because you're not good at the uh, like you're really low level but you can be really skilled and there's all those types of stereotype people there's a the guy that has to go uh what's it called have dinner and he has to leave in the middle of the match that's me sometimes so yeah guys i'm going to be counting down the top five most annoying types of stereotypical people in tower defense simulator so coming at number five we have the sniper spammers, and this is the one dude who, uh, he just got Tower Defense Simulator, he has been playing Tower Battles for a while, like, for like, maybe like a week, and he decides to, he thinks snipers are good, so he starts spamming snipers while he's with people that are, say, level 100 plus, and they all have outlaws, and they, when, when they say, hey, can I, can you sell your sniper, and so I can place my outlaw, it's better, they're like, no, and then they'll keep spamming snipers, and they'll have very bad placing for them, and yeah. Yeah, we all ran into these sometimes, so yeah, that's for the sniper spammers coming at number five. So coming at number four, we have the trolls, and by the trolls I mean the people that bring towers such as Ace Pilot and anything that's like pretty much no one uses and it's, or it's just pretty garbage. Uh let's see, probably like go all spamming gold pyro for some reason or pretty much spamming ace pilot putting things in very bad places just bringing sniper and scout even though they're like level 100 and all those guys i do this sometimes but it's kind of funny but i'm talking about the guys who do it like all the time that's all that's the only reason why they play the game just to annoy people but yeah so that's why the trolls come in number four so coming in number three is we all ran into this at one point when we were at lower level snobby pros and when i be my snobby pros is that you like they'll look at you once and be like nope Nah, I am not playing with you. And then they'll, they'll, they they don't even know what towers you have. You could be level 50, and you could have like already have a gold tower because you didn't save or anything. You have gold scout, and you can say you just you just bought other towers, like gold minigunner, this that, and the, and you could be low level. But you have, just because of your level, they treat you like trash, and they don't want to play with you, and it's just very not cool. And yeah, so that's why the snobby pros come in at number three. So coming in at number two, we have the people that farm for nothing good, and. We all run into this. Usually people that just get farmed are like, oh my gosh, I can make money without having to wait for a while. So what they do is they have sniper, scout, and farm, and they farm for the entire game, get their farms maxed out. They have a ton of money, and then they use it on maxing out scouts with terrible placing and snipers. So yeah, we all run into these people sometimes. Not as much when you're like, what's it called? Playing with a lot of like high levels, usually like your friends, if they're like really high levels, they like such as you guys. They, we probably won't run these people, but yeah, it, it's it is possible to run these people. Usually, they're like around level twenty, level ten around there. But yeah, so that's why the people that farm for nothing good come at number two. It's so coming at number one. I mentioned this earlier, and I'm these. I think you guys will all agree with this. The level diggers. Now, what what are level diggers? Guys might ask. They're people that just play with you because you're good at the game, and they can be like level zero, level one, and they will not do anything the entire match and just have you carry them and act like they're. What do they call them? It's gonna be a lot easier for that, but no. The level diggers are really annoying. Say if you're trying to play with a group of friends, you guys are all level 150 plus, and you guys try you guys try to get in a match. Say three of your friends get in, your one of your friends is behind, but a level zero bacon hair just runs right through, some jumps in your spot, and the map you were looking for for like two hours uh was just ruined by that one level digger. So yeah, I think everyone will agree with this, all at least all the high levels like me. Would agree that level diggers definitely come in at number one. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please t take a note. What is it called? Take out the grain of salt because I don't mean to say offense of anyone. Everyone has their own stereotype. All you guys I know aren't like this because yeah. And it's just, just don't take this to um to um what they call too seriously. It's just like it's meant to be a joke. And I'll hope see you all in the next video. Peace. Oh,